Mr. Ferris. Miss Dashwood. Thank you for responding so promptly to my message. I was most grateful to receive it. Miss Dashwood, God knows what you must think of me. Mr. Ferris. I have no right to speak, I know. I have, I have good news. Do, please sit down. Um, I, I think you know of our friend, Colonel Brandon. Yes, I've heard his name. Colonel Brandon desires me to say that, understanding you wish to join the clergy, he has great pleasure in offering you the parish on his estate at Delaford, in the hope that it may enable you and Miss Steele to marry. Colonel Brandon? Yes. He means it as testimony of his concern for the cruel situation in which you now find yourselves. Colonel Brandon, give me a parish. Can it be possible? The unkindness of your family makes you astonished to find friendship elsewhere. No. Not to find it in you. I cannot be ignorant that it's certainly to you that I owe this. I, I feel it. I, I would express it if I could, but mm -hmm. as you know, I'm no orator. I, you are mistaken. It, you owe it almost entirely to your own merit. I've had no hand in it. Colonel Brandon must be a man of great worth and respectability. He is the kindest and best of men. And may I ask why the Colonel did not tell me himself? I think he felt it would be better coming from a friend. Your friendship has been the most important of my life. You will always have it. Forgive me. Mr. Ferris, you honour your promises. That is more important than anything else. I... I wish you both very happy.